نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are Muslims as a Muslim we have some duty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us that we are we have come to this earth not only for to live ourselves Allah says in the Quran kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat nas you are the best nations you are among the best nations that you are sent for the people so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us to this earth to become in the fil ardi khalifa to become his khalifa that in this earth we will walk for Islam for Allah at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it was the time when all the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to receive People used to receive the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the presence of Rasulullah. And after the death of Rasulullah, the Khulafai Rashidin, the rightly guided caliphs, they were rightly guided and those days were the best time for the Muslim nation. But today, what we see around the world, what we see about the Muslims, the Muslims in India, Asham, Kashmir, the Muslims in Myanmar, they are tortured by non-Muslims, killed, and brutally killed. And if you see in uh, the Arab lands, Iraq, Afghanistan, Iraq, in Palestine, in Syria, in Yemen, in Lebanon, in every corner in the world, even in New Zealand, inside the masjid, the Muslims are being killed. So, now this is our time that we should think of ourselves that why the Muslims in the world are being tortured and not getting help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because whatever happens in this earth, in the land or water, is due to the earning of human hands. So we did wrong deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is punishing us using the non non Muslims. So the situation in the world is going day by day wars so now we should consider it why and what is the situation we are going to see in next few months and the next very soon what we are going to see <coughs> uh, Allah says in the Quran what if you do in Ajal that uh, every nation they have a time period like the uh, Moses, Musa alayhi salam, when he came, he came with the book of Allah, Torah, the Old Testament. And um, the people are, were ordered to follow the instructions given by Moses and the book, Torah. Um, then to that nation, after centuries, uh, David, Dawud came with a new book, with new instructions, Zabur. And this is the end of the nation of Moses, Musa alayhi salam. Then it was forbidden for those people to follow the book of Torah. They were instructed to follow the book Zabur. Then after when Isa alayhi salam, Jesus came among the when Israel, then they were ordered to follow the book in jail. Um, this was the end of the nation of the poor. Then Muhammad sallallahu came. It ended the followers of 
Injil. Now we have the follower of Quran. So this is actually the time period for a nation. So as a follower of Quran, we also have a time period. We know it is uh, narrated in a hadith, in many hadiths. Mm, that uh, once upon a day there will become a day when the sun will rise from the west and uh, the Quran will disappear at the time and the door of Allah will be closed forever mm, that is the time actually we the end of this nation of Prophet Muhammad so this time how long when it is going to happen, Imam Suyuti, Imam Ibn Qasir, uh, and so many other ulama, they did research about it, and finally they found that uh, there are so many hadiths, I just mentioned one hadith here, that إِلَى صُرَحَتْ أُمَّتِي فَلَهَا الْيَوْمِ When my ummah, Rasulullah said, when my ummah, my nation, will be rightly guided, they will be given one day. Uh, and when they will be wrongly guided, they are wrong uh, they will be given half a day. So this one day is equals to 1000 years. So at the beginning of this ummah, when the responsibility came to this ummah at the time of Abu Bakr they were rightly guided caliphs and uh, due to their rightly guidance Allah placed them with 1000 years for this nation then after 1000 years this ummah were misguided they were far away from Islam so Allah gave them another half a day means 500 years it means total 1500 years is the time for us among this time today is the 1441 the Hijri calendar if you follow the 1441 and uh, if the time period starts from 11th 11th of Hijri year that is when Abu Qaradiyallahu started this uh, this period then another 1500 years means 1511 is the end of this nation when the sun will rise from the west so we are very close we are very close to the end of days now big incidents very very big incidents we are going to face in very near future among all the signs of the end of days, all the small signs, they are already among us. And the door to the big signs is the appearance of arrival of Imam al-Mahdi. And we are expecting, this is the year, 1441, this is the year, inshallah, Imam Mahdi will be among us. Um, Abdul Qadir Zidani, rahimahullah. He said that at the beginning of 14th century, Imam Mahdi will take birth. It is 1401 was the birth year of Imam Al Mahdi, and he will appear among us at the time at the age of his 40. So this is the year, inshallah. And we have many proofs about it. I I discussed about some hadiths. Here is a hadith uh, There will be اختلاف, Not union Among people At the death of a khalifa Means of a king After the death of a king There will be اختلاف and uh, what is the ikhlaf? There's another hadith in the same book, Abu Dawood. Yaqtafilu inda qanzikum salasa, kulluhum ibn khalifa. 
that uh, about your wealth three will fight each other and all of them will be the sons of king they will be princes though so we knew the situation of Saudi Arabia in 2015 King Abdullah died in January after his death uh, Salman bin Abdulaziz became the king then uh, to become the crown prince that is the, who will be the next king after the death of Salman at the beginning Mukrin bin Abdulaziz was the crown prince soon after three months he was dis uh, replaced by Muhammad bin Naif was the, the deputy there at the time and he was also re replaced then Muhammad bin Salman became the crown prince so this fight began at the death of King Abdullah so this portion of the hadith is already among us so I I'll come back to this hadith again I come to the first hadith then after the death of the King Abdullah one person will flee from Medina to Makkah. means immediately after the death of King Abdullah, he will come to Makkah. Now, the conception about Imam Al Mahdi, there's two opinions. He will come from the east and he will come from Medina. Medina, Al Medina, this is the word is used for big city. This is not the Medina Al Munawara only. If you find, if you see in the Quran, the word Medina came many times and never for the Medina Al Munawara, the Medina of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Medina means big city. That is a person from a big city will be to Mecca. Uh, so, these two opinion is from Medina and he is from East. How we can march these two conception? If you see this hadith of Fitan, it is all these hadiths were narrated by Rasulullah in Medina. If we draw a straight line, if you see the world map, if you draw a straight line from Medina towards the east, it comes on the India and Bangladesh. So it's very much possible that that Imam Al Mahdi will be from India or Bangladesh from that region. Because the family of Rasulullah, Imam Al Mahdi is from Ahli Bayt. Al Mahdi Yuminna Ahli Bayt. Hadith it is narrated Al Mahdi Yamin Ahribai. Mid will the Fatima. There it is Mahdi is from us, from my household, from my house, family members, and from the children of Fatima. When the at the date of Hussein Radiallahu Anhu, the family of Rasulullah, his children went to they were they were taken to Egypt. And from there, after they were lost in the history, we don't know the real trace they have. Uh, maybe they were merged from there, they migrated from there to Iran, and from Iran to gradually India, the continent, and they stayed over there. So, this is one very important point. You know, Al Mahdi is not from Arab, he is from the Ajum very much possible and this is the true inshallah so hariman ilal makkah fayatihi nasu min ahli makkata then when this person mahdi will come to makkah some people from the inhabitants of makkah will come to him and they will drag him out they will find him out he will 
will not be happy with that because uh, we know uh, Imam Al Mahdi is the person that we are expecting, the Muslim world is expecting for centuries. So, when the people of Makkah will find him and they will be very much happy and excited, they might do something that is uh, Al Mahdi will not be pleased with that. So, this point I want to note down that some people from Bayatina in Bin Ahli Makkah, some people from Makkah will come to him and they will find him out. So, the people that will find him out at the beginning will be the inhabitants of Makkah. The inhabitants of Makkah does not only mean that they, were, they are the Saudi people. There are so many Indian people, Bangladesh people, Pakistani people, people from Egypt, people from Yemen. There are so many workers they are working around in Makkah, inside Makkah. And so many people they are expecting the appearance of Imam Al Mahdi. So, the most probably, as Imam Al Mahdi himself is not from Arab, and uh, it's most probably the Indian people, Bangladesh people, and Pakistani people, many people, they are the first people who are going to find Imam Al Mahdi. So, after that, Ayuba Yurunahu Baina Rukni al Makam, and Immediately after finding him, they will uh, take the baya in between the Rukun and Maqam Ibrahim. Uh, then the force will be sent to him, a force will be sent to him to kill him uh, from Ahl Sham. Ahl Sham, it means Sham at the time of Rasulullah, it was the uh, big region of Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine, Israel, all together it was Sham. So it's most probably a group, a soldier, an arm, a troop from Israel may be coming to attack Imam Al Mahdi after he arrives among us. When this group will cross Medina and will reach the open place named Baida in between Bakka and Medina, they will be collapsed inside the ground, inside the earth, and they will die at a time. When the people will see, the people of the world will see this, then Abdal from Sham, the uh, uh, Sufi people, the Saint people, they will come from Sham and Aswaib and many groups from Iraq, they will come. And they will take the baya in between Rukun and Maqam Ibrahim. So there is another point in this hadith that the baya of Imam Al Mahdi in between Rukun and Maqam Ibrahim will happen twice. The first time, the Ahli Makkah, the inhabitants of Makkah, and the second time, some groups from Iraq and Abdal, the same people from Sham, they will do the Baya in between Makkah and Rukun. So, this is saying about the number of people that uh, we have. There are so many sources, we don't know the source. There are so many wrong sources, now. Uh, light sources, not so he sources. And some other sources also, it says that the uh, number of people they will take Maya at the beginning, at the first time, the, the number, the similar number of the Battle of Badr of Sahabi, it means 213 people will take Maya at the beginning. So the Maya is getting, ha it's going to happen by the Rukun Maqam twice. So it means the first time that the people will take Maya the Maya, in between Rukun and Makkah, uh, the inhabitants of Makkah, there will not be 313. Maybe the two groups, the Ahli Makkah, inhabitants of Makkah, and the second group, uh, Abdel from Sham, and the groups of Iraq, all together, maybe 330 people will take fire. So, this is one important hadith for us. We should take it in mind and we should keep it in mind. Um, how it's going to happen 
Then another hadith, the second hadith that I was uh, mentioned before, in the Salah, the three people will fight each other about the wealth of you. Uh, ibn Khalifa, all of them were the princes. But they will not get that wealth. None of them will get that wealth. So, what is that means? Uh, you know, this kanzun is the kanzikum. It actually means hidden wealth. Like, uh, if you come in Saudi, if you first you know the situation of Saudi, there are so many high rate of tax in every product you buy and the foreigners or the foreigners that are working here they have to pay a lot of money for the renewal of their akama their identity citizenship identity every year i had one family from one family from bangladesh uh, they live in riyadh they said to me that uh, every year they have to pay forty thousand riyadh to renew their akama so this is Zulum, you know, what the king of this country is doing. So, this is the wealth of the general people, of the Muslim people of living in Saudi. So, they are fighting with this wealth. The one who will become the king, he will get the control of this wealth. So, it means that finally the fighting is to become the king. So, Sumala Yasiru in a minhum, but none of them can get that well. It means none of them, the three princes, uh, the, I know already the last one that remained in the fight is uh, Salman, Muhammad bin Salman. He will not be able to become the king because uh, it's, it is the time when Imam Mahadi will come. So Imam Mahadi, when Imam Mahadi will come, none can be the king, none can remain as king. So Summa this is another important point for us. We need to take it. We should consider it. We should think about it. Then from the east, a, people, a group of people will come uh, with black banner. So, what are these people? There's another conspiracy in the world map. If you see, uh, I, I have no option to show you the map here now. But if you go to the west of Saudi, uh, you'll find Morocco. Morocco, then after Morocco, that region, the Atlantic Ocean. Morocco in Arabic, the name is Maghrib, which means and Mashik is called East. So if the whole world is one land, West is the Morocco and the region. If you go to East, if you go East, 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 South, East, Russia, after Russia, if you go further East, you go USA, Canada. Those are the, actually, the weird East of the world. Japan is not the east. So that is the world map is if you go in the west after Morocco, the Atlantic Ocean, then the South America, North America, South America. And this portion will be at the end of Russia. So it means in this hadith the some people the group will come, force soldiers will come with that banner from East. We have already know that already in Saudi Arabia, 300 US forces entered. Uh, and we have, so if you see the badge, the banner of the US soldier that is black. Uh, and so there's Eagle written US Army. So this is the group they have already entered into Saudi. And what going to they are going to say as Allah says in the Muluka Ida Dakhla Koryatan Asadha when a different country people, the forces, the troops enter in a country in the land. Asadha they create fasadu they create 
unpleasant situations over there and wajalu aizatan ahliha adilla and destroy the normal life the people with honor the dishonor the people with honor this is the way they were going to do so the america has entered already entered in a country wherever the america has entered there is Assad in afghanistan iraq is present mm, the near past for us example 